All right, Rob, let's go to baseball where um, the elbow injuries in pitchers are increasing, and there are a lot of theories on why. Here's Justin Verlander, the great pitcher, uh, talking about it himself. I think it'd be easiest to hear and blame the pitch clock. Um, you know, I think in reality, uh, you put everything together, and um, everything has a little bit to, a little bit of influence. Um, you know, I think the biggest thing is the the, the style of pitching has changed so much. Um, you know, everybody's throwing as hard as they possibly can and um, spinning the ball as hard as they possibly can. And, um, you know, it's hard to deny those results. Obviously, uh, how can you? It's 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 a double-edged sword. How can you tell somebody to go out there and not do that when they're capable of throwing 100? And and you know this this, this young guy comes up and throws a pitch 95 and gives up a big homer and everybody's like, what the hell, man? Um, so something needs to change. You know, everybody's trying to get to this level. Um, the second they start incentivizing pitching and guys are getting drafted because they can pitch and get guys out, then that goes down a level and then down a level and down a level. And you know, I, I just hope that we don't wait too long. Because uh, you know it can it can uh, you know it's obviously a pandemic and it's going to take years to work itself out. Rob G, that that's what they're calling this a pandemic of injuries. Get, do you have any numbers on this on the increase? He's, the elbow uh, injuries. Yeah, he's out of he's out of the okay. uh, producer's booth. Right um, now. But but Chris, I, I think Justin Verlander. I just want to say this. I think he's right. There's a there's a number of factors. Because right now people are blame a lot of people are blaming it on the pitch, and top, I'm not right? I, I'm not one of them. Okay, but, but that's out there. I, yeah. I get it, but I don't. I'm not one of them. I think what he talked about, Chris, is huge. Throw as hard as you can, as long as you can. We talked about it before. They don't want you to complete games. They don't want you. You know what I mean? Give me your best five innings. Throw a hundred miles an hour, right. and guys are blown in. We talk about it all the time. Nolan Ryan pitched a complete game, Chris, and threw 235 pitches in a game. All of them weren't 100 miles an hour. Do you know what I'm saying? You used to right. save yourself. You were like, I need I need juice for later on in the game, right? So you didn't throw it. You're trying to get to – I'm going to get this, this weak hitting guy who can't hurt me with the long ball. I'll get him the fly out or ground out. Right. I don't need to strike him out. Right. I right. need to strike out the slugger with the bases loaded. That's the guy I need the juice for. No, I, I agree with you, and I think Verlander makes some good points. I, I also am not prone to blame this on the pitch clock. Now, I, I'll, I'll admit I am not completely sure. I, I don't think it's a factor, um, but, you know, I'm not a doctor either. Right. And I get I think, it. It's I different think there for them. are a bunch of different factors. But I think a few of them are this, Rob. One... I think when young, I think young kids are pitching too much. I I, 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 agree, I agree with that, Chris. And and now they're that, pitching year round, and they're specializing in pitching. Where before, right, they're when not you even play, playing the full game of baseball. Right, of you used to be the shortstop or the center fielder, and then you pitch once a week. Now right. they have it these was guys, a limit. You could only pitch six or seven innings a week. A week, that was it. A kid. And you couldn't throw curveballs until a certain age. Remember that? They wouldn't yep. even let you well, throw curveballs. Well, curve you couldn't balls. throw curveballs till you were about in junior high school or maybe 12 years old. Right. 12, 13 years old, something like that. Absolutely, they because they feared it would mess up your arm. And now, Rob, these young kids are doing it. They're, do, they're throwing these different types of pitches at a younger age, and they're throwing year-round, not playing other sports in many cases that work your other muscles and give your arm a break and things like that. And so I do think that those are factors. Uh, I also think, Rob, that it's ironic because when they're younger, they're pitching more. And then when they get older into the you know major league career, they're pitching less, right? right? And I think that same as in basketball, where we've talked with Antonio Daniels, NBA champion about it, where players aren't, like preparing their bodies to play 40 minutes and 82 games and now they can't play that much. Now I think Rob pitchers aren't, I mean, no 235 pitches. Can you imagine Chris 200? They think you're out of your mind. And you ready for this? He made his next start on schedule. Like he he didn't didn't take a week off or like, Oh my God, you know, you pitched two (laughs) games. 
Nolan, you get uh, you take the week off. No, uh, that's three or four <laughs> games for a starter nowadays, if not five. And he struck you know? out like in that game, if I remember correctly, and I could be off a little bit of the stats. He was like struck out eighteen in that. It was extra innings. He struck out eighteen. It was just, crazy. Yeah, Rob just, Gido has those stats we were looking for earlier, Rob. Oh, it really is uh, uh, an epidemic. About how many injuries, right? With the injuries. Okay, guys. Back in 2016, roughly 6% of major league pitchers had undergone Tommy John surgery. As recently as last season, that number was 35%. Wow. From 6% to to 35% in in eight years. And Rob G, they're also doing Tommy John to kids now. Absolutely. Absolutely. To kids. And, And guys... Just in the last 13 months, for further context, there have been 38 different pitchers that have required some sort of elbow reconstruction. Maybe not full-blown Tommy John, but some kind of elbow surgery. And a lot of it, as Verlander and you guys have attested to, has to do with the velocity issue. Throwing hard. Right? Because back in 2008, the average fastball velocity... Topped out at just about 90 and a half miles an hour, 90.5. Think about that, Chris. Okay. Like the average fast, fast the average ball. fast. Yeah, ball. you would throw a night like the Mike Mucinas of the world. They didn't yep. throw 100 miles an hour. Right. right. And because, as Verlander alluded to, you want to place your pitches high and away, yep. low and away, whatever, things like, like Greg that. Like Greg Maddox. Was exactly. A Greg Maddox, Chris. Place. Right. What was he yep. throwing? 86? And that yep. was a fastball. Right. Right. Yep. Okay. It, last year, the average fastball velocity. Highest in Major League Baseball history, 94. Yes. Okay. And here's the, this is the the smoking gun, as it were, right? At the end of last year, 31 of the 64 hardest throwing pitchers based on StatCast metrics had undergone Tommy John surgery at some point in their career. Well, it feels like it's almost like a rite of passage in some cases. Right, Rob, early in your career, like maybe right before you enter the majors or in college age or something like that, people are getting Tommy John in this view This, hey, that's that's kind of the next step. Yeah. You know, you'll be fine. No, you will be fine, and that's the old thing. And, and for, the na- for it to be named after Tommy John who pitched for the Dodgers and the Yankees because he was the first yep. one to get it and uh, was able to pitch 25 years in the big leagues after having the surgery. But I just can't. Like Chris, if you if if scouts look and you're not popping that mitt, they don't want you. It's not about getting people out. They want the guys who throw hardest, and they want you to come. And and uh, we talked about it. I think Dwight Gooden's rookie year, he had 18 complete games. Eight, 18. Well, now yeah, now it's about throwing as hard as you can for four or five innings, and then I get mean, the next guy in six innings, right? And then get the next guy in. It's not about can you throw a complete game. And, Rob, this is where I just think that the analytics can hurt the game. First of all, in this case, it might be dangerous for the players, right? That's number one. It might be dangerous for the players. I also think, Rob, you know, Verlander talked about this in the podcast as well, Rob. Pitchers growing up today aren't taught or prepared or brought up to throw three times through the, the lineup. Right, they're they're taught they're bred to throw twice through the lineup, and then that third time they're getting the relievers in. Right. Now, that might actually be good, you know, for the team. But is that good for baseball? Again, we're talking about it. It could be bad with injuries, but also, Rob, like, w- what if the analytics tell you, which I wouldn't be surprised if they do, that if you had guys throw one in two innings. Like say say you had seven guys they, throw like, one or two innings. Tony Lasorda that tried would be that. Better. Tony Lasorda tried that, Chris. I don't remember what year where they slated like he pitched seven guys. Like everybody would just pitch an inning. They thought everybody would have their best stuff for one inning or right. whatever, right? And you, you and you pitch seven right. guys and everybody just pitch an inning. But it didn't work out because uh, I think they tried it. They didn't win. Guys take time to get comfortable in the game you know what I yep, mean like yep. like there's a there's a pattern you come out there you throw hard everybody's jumping on your fastball because you, you you they know you got you're, you're revved up right so I'm looking at all fastballs because because you're just pitching you only got one inning to pitch it's weird uh, yeah, I mean, even it. if and if that even if it did work and I'm, I'm kind of glad it didn't but Rob that wouldn't be good for the game 
No. Because then you you start taking away pitching stars. Right. Right. And, Who's and, a star if they're only throwing one or two innings? Nobody. Again. Nobody would be a star. And, and that's not good. And they're that great pitchers. Fans. And you want to see guys, some guys go out there. Right. And, and, Rob, and we just saw gem. it with, with Caitlin Clark. Yep. What it, I mean, the game hasn't, you know, I mean, it has changed a little, but it's not the game. It hasn't changed in three years. It's just this one superstar was special, and now all of a sudden she drew all these viewers. They've had great players before. Some we've, players we've seen a be ton of great her. players. Ton, right. A ton, right. But nobody caught – it's a star. People want to see stars. And these sports cannot eliminate the stars. And analytics taken to the nth degree, Rob, can do that. And and they sports have to be – like the shift, Rob. Sure. That might, you know, be good for your defense. But, but it's it ain't not good, good for, for the, the game. game of baseball. And they and they fixed that because we were we were missing out on too many hits. Yep. Too many base runners, Chris, no action. You remember it was all home run or strikeout. Yep. That's not a good that's not a good look. People right. don't want to watch that. Right. So, you know, we were and, and that's the thing, throwing I mean, look, people like seeing no nos and guys throw that hard, but you know, it's uh, it's an interesting situation. Let's hey, throw it hey, out what, to the list. One more, no, 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 no calls here, right? We got uh, trash oh yeah, talking. we got yeah, Rob we got Gito. Trash add, add something just to one this. quick question to kind of summarize this whole segment. So Verlander painted a bleak picture for the future of baseball, and and we're almost too far down the road to to go back, right? Because everyone's going to throw hard, launch angle, analytics, all this stuff is working against all these pitchers. He had one idea that him and Max Scherzer have been throwing around, similar how you guys said about the the. The shift and and the and they they banned it to increase and it's worked. something right. So the rule that he suggested or they threw out there was teams because now everyone uses the DH would lose their DH if they pull the starting pitcher before hitting certain milestones like getting through the lineup three times or throwing a minimum number of pitches. If they implemented something well, like that, could yeah. You but the see problem is, what if a guy injury? gets rocked in the first inning or two? Then well, you lose. You your can't DH. take yeah. him out. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like I said, like should... there, there seems to be no perfect solution to this. Right. What, so this, what is it? How about this? And I've said this before. What if you limit the number of pitchers you can use in a game to four or five? Man, five I... isn't even that low. But let's say you can't use more that, than four that would pitchers be, That would be different, yeah, because then you'd, right. have to, you'd have to really think about it. Yep. And you'd have to be like, if I take him out, I might get caught short. Let yep. me stretch him out. We saw, um, yeah, like to see a guy pitch six innings now is like oh, that's almost, like that's like a, know, a complete game. Am I right? right? Yeah, to pitch six innings. That's the, what's the quality start? Is it six, five no, innings, six innings, five, five and yeah. a, five and two, it's like five and something, uh, allowing less than three runs. You know what I mean, Chris? I think it's a yeah, quality yeah. start. So six I, I innings, just think three earned runs or fewer. Six there you go. Three, That's like a C minus. Right. In, in I know. It's, I mean, it's really like not because your, your ERA is not that great. Innings, right. What's that? Four and a half. Yeah, that's runs not that's in the game. That's not a great ERA, 4. but that's a quali- ERA, that's what they call ridiculous. a quality start. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I think maybe something like that. You know, four pitchers is the max you can use in a game or something.